All right, sugar plum peppercorns. How you doing? This is going to be your next six months in relationships, okay? This is going to be your next six months in relationship. What you need to focus on, the relationship you need to focus on, how you can better show up in your relationships and how these relationships are going to bless you over the next six months, okay? Um, welcome back to my channel. If you've not subscribed, make sure you do. If this is just your first time seeing this video, make sure you subscribe so you stay notified of new videos. And wherever you may be watching this from, even if it's IG, make sure you follow me so you stay notified of new videos, okay? Also, if you've not sent your viral message for Earth Science, make sure you go and watch that first. All right, let's go into your reading. All right, so let's see what's the opinion for you over the next six months in relationships, my sweet Capricorns. You guys may be dealing with a fire sign, okay? You guys may be dealing with a fire sign. Someone who helps you understand your ideas. Someone who kind of like helps you to interpret your dreams. Someone who helps you to. Someone who helps you to interpret your dreams. You might be saying one more once a lot as well. You, you are currently over the, this next six months. It's almost going to like uproot the life you've always known for the life you need to know. Okay, so you guys are going through a leveling up, and this leveling up is going to be helped or be aided by a fire sign person in your life. Okay, so this might be your partner, this might be someone who you're not in an intimate relationship with, but person is close to you. But this is something you're going to be doing with a fire sign who is close to you in your life. This person is going to literally be helping you to level up because they are going to be giving you um the meanings they are going to be helping you see the meaning behind your dreams your symbols they are going to be helping you to see life in a new way they're going to be helping you to see life to have a new perspective to help you they are going to be helping you to understand life in a new way and in a different way and you have to be open up to get <laughs> thank you so much i can't catch my breath and you have to be open to the experience you have to be open to the experience because if you resist this this person is not necessary all i put it this person has been placed in your life at this time for some of you this might be someone who is older than you they may not necessarily be older in age but they are wiser they are more experienced they are more experienced spiritually this is someone who is uh, like a spiritual wizard this is always advanced spiritually in spiritual development and they are going to really be helping you to gain new perspectives around life and how to see life and how to do life and that's going to force you to level up it's going to force you to leave things behind that are no longer in alignment with you as you step up into this new experience your soul is calling you to okay so you guys are going through a portal of change you're going through a portal of up leveling but before you up level before you become more you have to release everything that is no longer aligned with who you are everything that is toxic toxic lifestyles toxic friends toxic behaviors toxic thought patterns and for some of you this is already happening because you Look at who in your life has been triggering you, who has been telling you like, oh, no, you shouldn't be thinking like that. You shouldn't be doing things like that. Even if you don't know their fire sign, fire sign, Leo particularly is very, very significant in their chat. Leo is very significant in their chat, okay? So this person is going to be opening your eyes to new things. They're almost going to be like a guide for you as you move through this portal of change. As you move through this portal of change, this person this, this person is going to be a guide for you as you move through this portal of change. You guys are also going to be seeing one on one a lot. And don't think like you should resist. Okay, don't try to resist these changes as they're coming to you. Don't try to resist these changes because you only make it other and you only make your you only delay the timing. You only delay yourself from moving forward into this new beginning and into this level of spirit as for you. But it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen if you keep on, you know, what did I say, fire sign. Okay, so this is someone who loves you. This is also someone you love, okay? What I'm hearing is that it might not exactly be like sexual, intimate love. It might be more like mother-to-child love or maternal love, just 
free love that doesn't expect anything back this is also really going to help you balance your energy this is like someone whose energies balance your so like yin your the yin to your yang okay but there's something about you going through these changes is also going to help you to come into a full cycle with yourself full alignment full acceptance with yourself okay for those of you who have been heavily operating your masculine energy this guidance system this person is going to bring out your feminine sides and help you to integrate both and vice versa if you've also been heavily in your feminine energies this person are going to stimulate your masculine traits and help you to do integrate both so that you come into wholeness what i'm saying is just completion what i'm saying is just completion coming into balance within yourself coming into balance with the flow of the divine in your life coming letting things come back into divine alignment you might also be saying five 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 because this this next six months are ripe for you in terms of changing your life your life is going to be changed in six months time but you have to do the work and doing the work requires you to release everything that you've outgrown and everything that is no longer in alignment with you, you and who you say you are okay so as i said love so there's love involved here this might be someone you love or someone who loves you but there's just this very sweet open open friendship i'm also hearing there's just this sweetness that comes with this relationship that will help you to be open up that will help you to be opened up to these changes they are suggesting okay so because you know this person has your interest at that you know this person has your your best interest at that you know this person you know this person has your best interest at that so even if what they say are triggering to you there's a way that it will help you and you may be like you love this person and this is going to help you because of the oh okay so that's what spirit is giving me so because of the love you have for this person it's going to make it easier for you to be open to what they say to you and be open to what they are trying to tell you to do and it's going to help you to trust that these changes are for your benefit okay for some of you this may also be persons who bought your flowers or persons you buy flower for you be buying flower for flowers for what i'm just saying is spirit has to use someone spirit has to make you get close to this person so they can help you break down your walls of resistance because if these messages are coming in from someone you're not close to you are going to be closed off from it and you're not going to be able to receive the guidance spirit is giving you so it's almost like this person was placed into your life for you to either fall in love with them for you to love them for you to open up your heart to them so that they can help you so that they can have easy access to you and help you to go through all of this sub these changes happening on your subconscious level because if you had not been open to them you wouldn't have been able to make these changes you wouldn't have been open to these changes spirits want you to make you wouldn't have been open to it so that's why it feels like this might as this might at first have been here yeah, you'd have been very proud you would have been very very proud you would have been in your ego full of in your ego being very egotistical like oh how can you be telling me that no i know the best thing i know what's right i know what's right i know what's right so spirit had to use someone who literally broke down the barriers to your heart okay so this was someone you could easily fall in love with so this was someone you could easily love this was someone you had you it was so and then this makes it very easy for the person to talk to you and for you to listen otherwise you would have just been in your ego space you would have been in your head space very proud you would have been very resistant to these messages so what i'm hearing is that this may also be the reason why this relationship had to happen even though it might not end up being the kind of relationship you wanted or you wished for but it's going to serve its purpose anyways <laughs> because the universe is like what i'm going to do i'm going to get it done okay so it's going to serve its purpose anyways so this person was brought in to help you navigate through this period of changes to really really help you to release everything that is no longer aligned with who you are so you guys are going to be seeing one one ones fourteen fourteen five five fives four five four fives you are also going to be seeing um nine nine nines as well as four 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 so ones fours fives and nines are going to be very significant for you over this next six months so pay attention to how, how those numbers come you might also be saying 14 15 9 a lot 
pay attention to how those numbers come into your life. And every time you see those numbers, see it as a factor, confirmation that you're in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be at, and you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Okay? So even if this relationship does not end up as you want it to know that the relationship is exactly what you need at this time to be able to go through this change. All right, final message, Mr. Capricorn. It's good to feel good. <laughs> I heal the habit of fear and embrace the habit of love. Spirit, spirit is just showing up today, I swear. <laughs> Can you see? Believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming, even when I can't yet see the results. This person is coming to you. Like, this person is like an oracle in your life. This person is like an oracle, a mentor, a guide. They're living their life, but they're helping you through. You couldn't have gone through this by yourself. You'd have just been too much stuck up in your head, and you'll not be able to make these changes that you are needing to make. But with this person's support, just being them just being in your life is giving you the is giving you the permission, is making you give yourself the permission to go through these changes. Okay. Believing in spiritual guidance, this person is your spiritual guide. This believing in spiritual guidance gives me certainty and the freedom to keep dreaming, even when I can't yet see the results. And lastly. When I surrender my will to spirit, to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. So be on the lookout for those repeating numbers, those angel numbers, those synchronicities. Even if you see them on your research, on the on your devices, on your car, on number plates, every time you see it, give thanks because you are exactly where you need to be at that point in time in divine alignment. Okay? There's no coincidence. There is no coincidence. When I surrender my will to the care of spirit and the universe, I attune my energy with an ever-present stream of well-being. Okay? All right, my sweet Capricorns. No, so sweet. All right, sweet Capricorns, that's your message for your relationships over this next two months. <laughs> that's your message for your relationships over the next six months i love you take care of yourself enjoy yourself be good if this reason resonated with you make sure you leave a comment okay um if you need to subscribe make sure you say subscribe make sure you follow me so that you stay notified of new videos and if you like to book a personal reading with me darling it's my bio darling is my bio